Do-It-Yourself Business Ideas 2021, How to Make the Most Money Without Working. Hi, I'm Ricky Williams. In this video, I'm going to tell you the easiest ways to make more money with your Helium Hotspot. In a couple minutes, I'm going to tell you how you may be able to double your hotspot earnings with a bread pan. But first, let's look at the most important factors in making money with your Helium Hotspot. Helium tokens are paid out to hosts that's you or your place of business for performing mining tasks. When your miner uses radio waves to prove that other hotspots are where they say they are and that they're doing their jobs. You can get an idea of how much your hotspot will earn by comparing it to other hotspots in your area. Just ask for a mining assessment for your address if you'd like an estimate. The actual money you will earn depends on how active your hotspot is. Every time your helium miner adds value to the helium network, it earns you money. It adds value by doing the following types of tasks. First, participating in proof of coverage challenges. Second, witnessing those challenges. Third, transferring network data from smart devices. So, how can you earn more money? Position your miner to do more of these tasks. The single most important factor in how much your hotspot earns is how many other hotspots are around yours. It needs to be close enough, but not too far away from other hotspots. If you're in the middle of nowhere with no other miners around you, you will not earn because your hotspot has no other hotspots to talk to. These miners are known as lone wolves. If there are too many other hotspots around you, however, they will start to steal some of the tasks that your miner could be performing. In this example, Lone Graphite Rat is the name of a hotspot in Philadelphia, and there are 112 other hotspots around this hotspot, and that's a lot. And even in the hex that we're showing, the white spot there, uh, there's 13 other hotspots, and the neighboring hexagons also have um, 11, 7, just a lot of hotspots around it. So it's more like a dogfight than a lone wolf situation. The amount you can earn will be limited. Here's an example of two hotspots in State College, Pennsylvania. Short Orchid Opossum is witnessing 12 other hotspots, whereas Sticky Vinyl Hedgehog is only witnessing four other hotspots. And these two hotspots are less than two miles apart. And even with a stronger antenna, Sticky Vinyl Hedgehog, it's this one here, uh, can't keep up with Short Orchid Opossum. And you might ask why. I mean, they're in practically the same location. There's all kinds of hotspots around them. But uh, the important thing is, is what is their view of those other hotspots? Hotspots don't earn from other hotspots that are closer than 300 meters. But at the farthest range, hotspots can witness other hotspots as far away as 30 miles. The Helium Network constantly figures out just how many hotspots work best for different size areas, shown as hexagons on their network map. The area sizes go from resolution 0, or res 0, to resolution 12, or res 12. The Helium Network has also set targets for how many hotspots they want in each res hex and the neighbors of those uh, resolution hexes. So there's a lot of math that goes into calculating how many hotspots can be in each area. And it's not necessary to understand the math behind it. It's pretty clear that Helium Network is trying to get broad coverage here without being too dense. So you want to have uh, hotspots in each hex, but not too many hotspots. So it's important that you have the right number of hotspots around you, but that's not really something you can control unless you're doing that as a business and placing your own hotspots in multiple locations. But most of us aren't in that situation. Uh, where you can make a difference, though, is where you put your hotspot within your uh, place of business or within your home. Helium.com recommends putting your hotspot in your window, which is a pretty uh, broad recommendation. But you can make more money with a little extra effort. After you receive your hotspot miner, download the Helium app to your smartphone. Use discovery mode to find the best location for your hotspot. 
The ability of your hotspot to talk to other hotspots depends on the size and density of things that block line of sight RF signals. Things like trees, buildings, and the building materials in your home or office. Placing your device next to a double pane or low emissivity window may not be your best choice. But if you use discovery mode in the Helium app, you can move your hotspot device to different spots in your workplace or home and see which location can talk to the most other hotspots. It might actually be better to move your hotspot away from a window next to an outside wall unless that wall is concrete or bricks or metal. Also consider testing your hotspot in your attic. The building materials in your attic may allow more RF signal strength and it's higher up. Here's a chart that shows some approximate building material signal losses. This is, this is just for reference. You can find more information online if you're interested. The thing to recognize here is, is the relative uh, uh, blocking ability of different materials. At the high end, metal and brick and concrete do a really good job of blocking your signal. Uh, but then take a look at low emission glass windows. These expensive windows do a great job of helping you control the temperature in your home or business, but they do a terrible job at uh, allowing RF signals to uh, either come in or go out. You could calculate you know, the best spot based on all this information, but it's really not necessary. As long as you have the, uh, uh, the Helium app and Discovery Mode, you can just test for it. You might also get a better signal strength using a ground plane under your hotspot device. In fact, you could even double your earnings. A ground plane reflects radio waves back to your device and boosts the signal. Unfortunately, your hotspot device doesn't come with a built-in ground plane. But it's pretty easy to do for Helium's 915 MHz frequency. All you need is a conductive flat metal sheet under your device with a bigger footprint than your device such as a bread pan, a cookie sheet, or a piece of sheet metal stock. It doesn't cost anything to use the Helium app discovery mode to compare your hotspot coverage with and without a ground plane. Just use whatever flat metallic service you have on hand to run your test, and if you can talk to more hotspots, then go ahead and order a metal sheet sized to fit under your device. If you want to avoid all RF signal losses from building materials, you need to use an antenna. But this is not a requirement, and it's not as important as being close to other hotspots. But spending $100 on an antenna could easily make you more than that in one month. Think about getting an extra $100 or $200 or more every month for months and even years to come. With Helium Network antennas, higher is always better. You'll see about 90% of your maximum earning potential with an antenna that's at least 20 feet above your roof and surrounding roofs. You can also compare your hotspot performance with or without an antenna using the Helium app. To get the most out of an antenna, you need to match the gain with the terrain. So for Helium hotspots, uh, typically uh, antennas are classified as either 3 dBi, 5.8 dBi, or 8 dBi. Those are the most popular ones. The focus of a 3 dBi antenna is close to spherical, so it's a good choice if you're in a flat area and are close to other hotspots all around you, such as downtown. A 5.8 dBi antenna sends and captures RF signals in a more elongated shape. It's usually a good choice for suburban areas, especially if you can put your antenna high above the ground. An 8 dBi antenna has much more reach, but a narrower view. This is the antenna you want if you're in the country, miles away from other hotspots, or if you have a business in the outskirts and you're quite a ways away from town. Here are some Helium hotspot antenna kits that are offered by iHub Network. Um, it's not necessary to buy these. There's, you can buy antennas a lot of places. But these are designed for Helium hotspots and they're high quality. They also range in price. The 3 dBi kits right now are around $50, and the 8 dBi kits range up to about $90. That's with a, a short uh, coax cable to connect between your antenna and your hotspot. If you use an antenna, try to connect your hotspot as close to it as you can to minimize cable losses. 
use low-loss, high-quality LDF or LMR cable, like those shown in the iHub kits. If you need to go over 30 feet, uh, which is not advisable generally, but if you do, uh, then you're going to need to use a, a larger cable, a thicker cable, such as an LMR 400 cable. In the next video, we'll look at buying your own helium hotspots instead of getting one from iHub. Are you thinking about getting your own hotspot miner? Then keep watching my videos to help you understand the risk and rewards. If you can't wait, you can get started right away by clicking the first link in the comments below. Click the nationalconsumeradvocate.com forward slash helium dash minor link in the first comment below this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel to get the latest info about making money with your hotspot.